What is up, boys and girls, those who bounce in between? It's your friend, Comrade Danky. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about everyone's favorite holiday, the 4th of July, and why no one should celebrate this holiday. So, uh, but before I explain what I mean, I feel like we should talk a little bit about American patriotism. And what does it mean to be a patriot in the United States and whether or not it's possible for someone identifying themselves as a leftist or as a socialist to also be a patriot? Uh, I am going to argue in this short speech that it is completely nonsensical for someone believing in the cause of socialism to also call themselves an American patriot. So, uh, to explain what I mean, in the American context, patriotism is synonymous with a support for capitalism, for imperialism, and for systemic racial oppression. Patriotism embraces a mythologized history of the United States, which proclaims that it is America's destiny to be the masters of the world. The idea of manifest destiny, that America has a right to conquer and expand from sea to shining sea has now been modernized into the idea we now know as American exceptionalism. The history of the United States is an exceptional history in terms of its brutality, in terms of the greed that we see from the capitalist class that has controlled this country since its inception. The slavery that we subjected to kidnapped and displaced Africans still occurs today in our prison system. The genocide of the indigenous peoples of America still continues to this day. They're pushed to the fringes of society and marginalized. They have no political means by which to address the legacy of brutality that has been inflicted on them by the United States government. These brutalities occur abroad also. America and the neoliberal maniacs at the helm are ensuring that the profit keeps flowing out of the global south and into the hands of the west who increasingly want more and more and for cheaper too enslavement genocide profit these words are the true national motto of the united states in america we describe ourselves as a democracy now if we look at the greek the word demo meaning people and kratos meaning rule Democracy is a society in which the people rule. America has never been a democracy. The rulers of this country have always been the capitalists. It was always the capitalists. It was the slave-owning rich white men who wrote the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution. Who rules America today? If you honestly think that a poor black woman living in a city like Memphis has an equal political influence to a rich white man at Wall Street, then you haven't been paying attention. The people are those who break their backs working for a capitalist, the politically disenfranchised, those who are struggling to make ends meet and are in constant fear of getting fired or getting sick. The people want an end to these imperialist for-profit wars and an end to foreign intervention. The people want to be the masters of their own destiny. The people want nutritious food, clean water, comfortable shelter, outstanding health care, and a standard of living that gives human dignity. The people are tired of working long hours in horrible conditions with low pay and benefits. The people are tired of having pig cops threaten and harass them, kill them for being the wrong color and the wrong part of town. The people want justice. They want the police to be held accountable for their actions and for their terrorism. They want every last pig cop to be fired and prosecuted for crimes against the people. The people want our soldiers to throw down their rifles and refuse the orders of their superiors. We want nothing but victory for the brave freedom fighters and political movements striving to see an end to imperialism, colonialism, and capitalism, even if they're fighting against our brave soldiers abroad. 
If you're going to pledge your allegiance to a flag, let it be the red flag of the people's revolution. We don't ask you for blind loyalty, but that you educate yourself on the bloody legacy of the American empire and on the struggle for working people to rid themselves of America's greed. Why would anyone call themselves a socialist and try to brand themselves as a patriotic American is beyond me. What is there to be proud of? Patriots in this country have never stood for the people. They've always stood for the capitalists and for their running dogs, the military, the police, the feds, and the governmental structures that uphold them. Are we patting ourselves on the back for the so-called Revolutionary War? A war so rich white men didn't have to pay taxes to other rich white men across the ocean. Well, what about the Civil War? We didn't just suddenly realize as a country that slavery was bad. The northern capitalists believed in a new form of slavery. Wage slavery. The Civil War was a war fought by rich white men over which form of slavery America should have. What about World War I, when all the old empires of the world found themselves reaching the point where the only lands left to conquer were each other's? Men were slaughtered by the millions for mere meters of land. And they were called patriots too, these brave soldiers fighting in the trenches. Songs were sung about them in their brave heroic sacrifice. But that didn't change the fact that all of these brave patriots died like animals in the trenches in a needless war so that some rich man can profit. Well, what about World War II, when America was keen to allow Nazism to swallow up the whole of mainland Europe until it threatened our geopolitical interests by attacking Britain? We horrified the world by dropping atomic bombs on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We opportunistically made an alliance with the Soviets only to turn around and threaten them with nuclear annihilation after the war was over. What about the Korean War, where we bombed their cities to ruins and backed a fascist government in the South? What about Vietnam, where we did the same thing? We dropped Agent Orange and Napalm on villages full of innocent people. What about Iraq and Afghanistan, where we torture prisoners in concentration camps like Guantanamo and Abu Ghraib? where children are afraid to go out during the day. They're afraid of the sky because of the drone strikes America has inflicted on them for over 20 years. Remind yourself how Barack Obama, often the love child of progressive Americans, joked about dropping drones. No, America is nothing to be proud of. Patriotism, it turns a blind eye to the harsh reality that the American empire is an evil empire. The American flag is the flag of an evil empire. And the Independence Day that so many Americans observe is a slap to the face of all those who are currently not independent because of America. So before you celebrate this hypocritical holiday, this monument to America's greed, ask yourself, what are the fates of the people suffering under America's imperialism today? What do their lives look like? And is this a country that is worthy of praise? Or is it a country that is worthy of only the most scathing condemnations? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do not celebrate the 4th of July. Celebrate July 1st, the 100 year anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party. Celebrate the brave freedom fighters all around the world who are fighting against US imperialism, who are fighting against colonialism, and ultimately fighting against capitalist oppression. Honor the activists who are out there in the streets now fighting for the rights of the people against the US government. Do not respect our troops. Do not respect our law enforcement officers. Do not respect our capitalists. Do not respect our founding fathers. Because they don't respect you. 